this gives KCl plus CO2 plus H2O. Calculate the quantity of heat absorbed in experiment 2. So Q is equal to minus MC delta T. So they said that all other conditions were the same. So the amount of amount of hydrochloric acid used was also the same. So 30 centimeter Q. Yeah. 30 centimeter Q. Now uh, this will be minus 30 into 4.18 into delta T which is 17.3 minus final temperature minus initial temperature so it's minus 17.3 minus 21 now this is equal to minus 30 into 4.8 into, into 17.3 minus 21 so this will be 463.98 joules 463.98 joules this is a positive value because the this is an endothermic reaction so we'll round it off to three significant figures and say that 464 joules absorbed Use your answer to 2 to calculate the enthalpy change per mole of KHCO3. So again, the same thing, delta H is equal to Q upon N. So this is equal to 0 0.46398 over N, which is 0 0.02, is, which is equal to Twenty three point two kilojoules per mole plus twenty three because it's an endothermic reaction so plus twenty three point two kilojoules per mole. We are done with this as well. Now the next last part is when KHCO three is heated, it decomposes into K two CO three, CO two, and H two O. Use Hess's law. And your answers to B3 and C3 to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. Okay, so now if you see, when we when we react both of these with, with HCl, when we react both of these with HCl, we got the same thing. We got KCl, right? We got KCl plus CO2 plus H2. When we reacted both these compounds, KHCO3 and K2CO3 with HCl, we got this, right? So uh, this was this will be two into the delta delta H we calculated in the first experiment. This will be no sorry sorry uh, in the second experiment. So let's write two into delta H2, which is experiment uh, the enthalpy change that we calculated in the second experiment. So this would be two into twenty three point two. This will be this and then this part this part will be 2 in uh, not 2 sorry this time this will not be 2 because um, because this is 1 mole so this will be the enthalpy change that we calculated in the first experiment right the enthalpy change that we calculated in the first experiment so I've written delta H1 now you will use all the Hess uh, vectors Hess law and all to calculate delta H not R simple so you have to use the values you've already calculated to get this answer now. Now we are coming to the next part of the presentation which is bond energy. So bond energy is also known as bond dissociation energy or bond enthalpy and these values are given in your data booklet so you can look at, look at it there. So what is bond energy exactly? Now it is the energy needed to break one mole of a bond in gaseous state. So what I mean, mean by this is for example, we have O2 gas. So what is O2 exactly? O2 is oxygen double bonded to another oxygen, right? So one mole of a bond, you can see that this is one mole of a bond because there is only one double bond, right? So one mole of a bond. So the bond energy needed to break this double bond to form gaseous oxygen atoms is called bond energy. Yeah. Now. How do we calculate, uh, how do we uh, use bond energies to calculate uh, enthalpy changes? Let's see. Now, let's say we have this reaction CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O. 
so this will be two over here I'm sorry for the for the